Quinn, the one I call LSQ. And you're also going to love this because if you follow her on Instagram at that same handle, Mad Hungry, you have seen in her cooking Insta stories her use this same item. This isn't one item, Lucinda Scala Quinn. This is two that can be used in, uh, in concert with one another or used separately. This is all part of your Mad Hungry line, and it's nice to see a brand new item tonight. I'm so excited. Uh -huh. I've been working on this forever, and I've been just using it in my kitchen forever. So QVC giving me an opportunity gives me a thrill. Now, can I just tell you why I did this? Please. For years and years and years, I would put this kind of a rig in my kitchen. I'd have a strainer and a bowl of different sizes. And one day I thought, why can't I just do something that makes more sense? All of Mad Hungry items do multiple things. So to start with, if you do watch my Insta stories, you see me start almost everything every day. I am floating my greens. Now, did you know you're supposed to float your greens? You don't rinse your greens, you float them. That's, that way, all that dirt goes to the uh, bottom of the water, and then you can look here and see if there's dirt. And my goodness, there's dirt. Is there anything worse than a crunchy salad? Not really. So that's just your basic colander. And let me tell you, I never waste this water either. Yeah, she'll take the dirty water and water her plants. With. And I'll show you. And here's herbs. Every day we have herbs. Same thing. You bring them in from the garden. But when you lift this up, you can then see right here if you have dirt. So those are just two very basic things I do every day, David. But this item, because it has a spout right here, a right. spout, which is also a handle, it's got these two loops right here. You have right here feet, so it steps right up from the bottom of the bowl. And because of that, there are about six alternative uses that I'm just dying to show everybody you can do with this beautiful Let piece. me show you colors real quickly and I'll tell you, when you start using this in your kitchen, you'll wonder why in the world it took you so long to bring home something so smart. This is your red. Beside the red, I've got it in blue. Beside the blue is turquoise. Then I've got it for you in the gray, 450 in the gray. Here's your orange, 430, and then finally the bright sunshiny yellow. And how many? 430. Now let's talk about different ways you're going to use this because there's so many uses. So in the many kitchen. ways. So just the other day, and you saw it, David, I made a little bit of chicken broth soup with some chicken parts and some vegetables. When you have our unit, you can just dump it out, right? It comes out, and then you can quickly strain out that liquid. And then a lot of time you're making chicken stock or you're making chicken soup. And then you can just go right here. You have this handle and you have this loop. And then you're just pouring it in here to store it. And you can stick that in the freezer. You can stick it in your refrigerator. You can take it on your way. The handle so is a spout. It's a spout. And so that is just. You can freeze this now. Three things I've done. Now, this I adore. This is, we're going to just use it as a bowl now, right? So I've made some cupcakes. So I've got something I can really just use as your, you know, basic everyday bowl, right? But because I have my spout here and because making cupcakes is such a difficult thing, how hard is it to pour into your cupcake? I think it's one of the hardest things to do, David. I think that getting there with your pitcher is so hard and here we are, you can imagine this spout with all kinds of batters. It just becomes one of the most versatile tools in your kitchen. I think this is brilliant because so many times I'll go and dump cake batter yes. into a plastic bag, snip off the corner and then try to pipe it in. Yes, it's, it's difficult. And that's a great big mess. Look so, how quickly and easily we filled those and we'll be able to keep going. Now, okay, so here we are. We are hydrating beans. So I do this all the time. We hydrate the beans. So that means that it soaks up the water, but then there's water left. And this is what I want to show you that I do every day. I water my plants. I just have this long spout here. And can I just say, conservation of water is something that's very important. We're all going to have to start thinking about. So when I can reuse this water for my plants, for my outdoor plants, it makes me very happy. Happy. So How many this are gone is now, the Sean? kind of thing that you're going to be using. Five hundred of these are now gone. Okay, so people are beginning to realize, and you're beginning to realize that this is a straight-up colander. The below bowl becomes the catch-all for for the water you're draining. Yes. Maybe it becomes the uh, the bowl that you're putting your gate batter in because remember this handle is a spout. Here's your red. I have the blue. From blue we go to turquoise. I love this item. I think it's so smart. Here it is in gray. 300 now left in the gray. There it is in orange, 350 in the orange, and in that yellow, 
340. So if you wanted easy pay tonight, use your cue card. You've got four easy pays instantly on your cue card. I want to teach everybody something. There's something called shocking vegetables. When you want to keep that green color, you boil them and then you put them right in ice water. So rather than putting the ice inside of the colander, I have the ice underneath right here. That way it's not going to get in my vegetable. It's the same as when you're trying to cook shrimp. Any number of things because you can put your ice underneath and the cold water comes up. It is so genius. You use it all the time. How about you've cooked your pasta right. and you want to just strain it out and then you know so many pasta sauces these days it's really smart. You can just take some of this pasta water which is nice and starchy and because you have that handle you can pick it up and, and then you can it turn up, it around right? and loosen back up your pasta sauce. I love it. Stay on the line for these. We're very, very busy. Lots and lots of you choosing your color. I'm looking forward to getting mine when the show is over. Oh, good. Don't miss out on this. It's K49309 and Lucinda Scala Quinn. You've done it again, my darling. Thank you, multi Follow her on Instagram Mwah. at Mad Hungry and watch her Insta stories. That's around her profile picture. That's where the little circle comes on. Tap it and watch Aww. it. It's like watching food TV. It's Thank awesome. Thank you. Hey, we have sold out of every bit of the Germac, so enjoy that. It is over, but let's check in with our Stacy, who's got another update from the world of social media. Yeah, I want to update you on what's coming up. We've got Cookbook Corner tonight, and pretty much all you need to spread holiday cheer coming from the Taste of Home.